Let's see what's back here. Oh my goodness. Got a little balcony overlooking the creek. And Hey guys, I'm driving through Sevierville, Tennessee, getting ready to turn on to the parkway, which runs from Sevierville through Pigeon Forge and then on into Gatlinburg. So that's the route I'm going to take. That's the usual route most people take to get into uh, Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg. So traffic was not too bad and uh, so it was kind of a light it was a Tuesday so it wasn't too bad uh, beautiful day but so just hang on and pretty soon once I get uh, into Gatlinburg uh, we'll check into my cottage and check that out so check out the sites along the way some of y'all might be, have never been to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg so you might want to check out this strip of Pigeon Forge before you enter Gatlinburg. Hang on. Hey guys, and also I put chapters in this video like I do most of my videos. And if you don't want to watch the drive, you can skip through to Gatlinburg or you can skip straight through to the Brookside Resort.
checked in to the Brookside and um, there's the, the office and I had to drive around here and here's the building I'll be in. And let's go check the room out. some lights on in here but I love the wood decor very cool Get a little light in here got a little there's my car got a little lamp right here and it's nice it's got little plugs cool bed with the bears and the trees and the log cabin this is awesome got a little refrigerator I don't know if you can see that but there you go that's refrigerator needs to be defrosted look at this that is a cool looking little I don't know what you call it chest chest of drawers with a little TV and bathroom so you can take a shower and just you can actually sit on the toilet and then just jump into the shower I mean you just take one step that's just a real nice I mean nice and cozy let's see what's back here Oh my goodness, got a little balcony overlooking the creek and I can smell pot. It's always refreshing to get the nice smell of marijuana when you step out onto your porch. Very, very cool. Nice little walkway over to a cabin over there. Tina would love this because she likes to just sit on the porch. Porch set. All right, so I paid a grand total of $56 I think it was 44 or $45 and then let me turn this fan off uh, I think it's 44 or $45 and then plus tax it ended up being 55 56 bucks so that folks is not bad at all so and this is a Tuesday so you're not gonna get this deal on any weekend but during the week, and this is this is a nice room. It really is. Very nice. Brookside Resort. So after getting situated, I uh, actually did a live stream where I walked down to Jason Aldean's. You might want to check the live stream out. That was fun. But now I'm in Jason Aldean's and I'm uh, on the top floor where they have the bar, the music, the, they call it the Euclid Tavern, I guess. And uh, it was a good time. I had an old fashioned and really enjoyed that. It was beautiful outside. So I just took in all the sights. All right guys, uh, having a little old fashioned I should, it is little, but the price is big, $15.
You took all the worries from my mind Darling, please forgive me if I stay a little more I can't look away from those brown eyes And if we settle down, we don't have to settle down Please don't be afraid of all the things that could go wrong So I walked down to, oh gosh, Old Red, sat for a minute, started to go in there, didn't. Went on up to Jason Aldean's, went to the third floor, that's the rooftop bar. Had an old fashioned, which was pretty good, and then I, uh, you know, started making my way back. Started to eat at the Boudica or something. I'll put the picture up here. But I thought, no, I'm going to wait to eat there with uh, Tina. And uh, I'm going to wait to eat there with Chris and Catherine. Because they're going to meet us in Gatlinburg one day from the midlife ride. So uh, she says we never invite her. So it's all, it's, a, it's an open invitation. Hey guys. Uh, finally made it up to the hill and back to my room and um, I will just say that I would find if you enjoy walking up and down the strip find something closer to the strip this is I mean you can get a lot of places here uh, but most of the time you're gonna have to head down towards the main drag and getting all that traffic so nice really nice room uh and they got pools i think they have two pools actually but so i'm not knocking the place it's just if if you want to walk this is not the place if you don't want to if you want to drive and you don't mind fighting traffic and finding parking downtown then that's that's it's perfect um so anyway it's it's you know you're close to all kind of other stuff you can get to pigeon forge you can do it, you can get to anywhere you want but uh if you really want uh to just park your car and don't have to get in it for a few days and just hang out in gatlinburg uh then you want to find something a little bit closer in so that's all i'm saying